and they're expected to formalise that interest, we are told, soon. It's told, I'm told, that they're getting encouragement from the player that he would welcome and be open to a move to Chelsea if a deal can be agreed between the clubs. It's a big if because Brighton will drive a very hard bargain. If they're rejecting up to £70 million in January, they're going to be asking for even more money in the summer. Personal terms, though, not expected to be a problem. Another source has told me that Chelsea are also keeping an eye on the Southampton midfielder, Romeo Lavia. He's been attracting interest from a number of clubs as well. OK, um, and we mentioned those, those departures uh, at Chelsea. A few more could be in the offing. Potentially. We knew when Mauricio Pochettino took the job, the biggest issue in his inbox was streamlining that squad. They've done really well, have Chelsea, in getting money and streamlining that squad to Pochettino's satisfaction. But there could be more. Christian Pulisic, AC Milan, continue to work on a deal to sign Christian Pulisic. No official offer has been made yet, but it's thought that Pulisic is leaning towards a move to Milan rather than Lyon. And Leon have an offer on the table worth 25 million euros for Christian Pulisic. Romelu Lukaku is another player who could be on the move. Inter Milan are working on a deal to sign the Chelsea striker. Chelsea's stance, though, is unchanged. They say they are not contemplating any kind of a loan deal at all for Romelu Lukaku. I think Inter would favour a loan or at least alone with an obligation to buy. It is clear Lukaku wants to go to the San Siro. Cesar Aspilicueta is another one. We know that there's huge mutual respect between club and player, given the service he's given. He's won nearly everything at Chelsea. But they are close now to agreeing a mutual termination of the final year of his contract. So he indeed then becomes a free agent and it's expected he will then make a move to Atletico Madrid. 